Welcome once more to Mfal Farm. We've talked about other issues, about the forest, about other things. And um, in a previous video, we had also talked about the black soldier fly, uh, what it is. So today, we'd like to talk about just why is it important that we learn about black soldier fly and we try to use the black soldier fly. The first thing, when you start with the black soldier fly, the adult, of course, as an insect, we have discussed the phases of the insect. The adult black soldier fly does not eat. Therefore, it is not going to hop from one point to another point, trying to look for food. The common house fly is known to spread diseases because it's a ferocious eater. It will eat anything, rotten things, non-rotten things. It will go from the toilet into your dining table, and that is why it's uh, very well known to spread disease. The black soldier fly does not, the adult does not eat because it does not need food. So it means, therefore, it will only look for materials where its young, the, the, the larvae, can feed on. So it will look for things which are either just died or things which are degradable so that it can lay its eggs above them. Once it does that, it normally dies around that area because it will not need to go anywhere else. As you can see, there will be no spread of any disease. Another reason is that the larvae are ferocious eaters. They eat what we may call biodegradable matter. Any biological matter which has died, which can be broken down very fast. Okay? Now, another reason why is that as it grows and consumes, it converts this waste into proteins and carbohydrates, into oils and proteins. The proteins are very useful as animal feed. And even the oil which is produced can be used as animal feed, but it is also used as what you most, most people call bio-oil. Bio-oil can be used for cosmetic purposes, but at the same time it can also be used for even animal feed still and other purposes. Now, another reason why is that after this larvae have consumed the bio-waste, and it has passed through their system. Remember, it was the adult which didn't have a, a, a digestive system. The larvae have a digestive system. Now, what comes out as waste, it's called frass, and frass is very, very rich soil in fertilizer. So it is actually used to enrich soil. So another reason why BSF is it literally cleans the environment, the air. The moment BSF larvae have settled on any waste, even if it was rotting and smelling, the moment it is covered with BSF larvae, the smell literally disappears. The BSF also produces some gases which are not, we don't smell them. That is number one. But the smell of whatever was rotting literally disappears. That is quite surprising. But somehow also, it seems like the gas these insects produce also repels the common house fly. So the moment BSF starts working on any waste matter, the house flies just disappear. They will not get anywhere near there, which is also important for health reasons also, because it means you have denied the common house fly access to something which is rotting, which they can go and transfer to your dinner table. So without these reasons, we think that BSF is a very useful entity in waste management. So, when now we talk about BSF, of course BSF 
is BSF as far as waste is concerned. So how does it fit into the picture? Now, waste management in our, especially urban settings, the biggest definer of waste management is biological waste. Because we know the moment you have contaminated any waste, even your household waste, like um, what you use, you know, all the things, the moment you have mixed plastic, the moment you mix pepper, and the moment you mix your food all together, the kitchen waste, that's when you've lost it. Why? Because all these things somehow act to confine the bio waste in a space where they don't normally decay the normal way. And the first thing which happens whenever you confine biological matter, they start fermenting. When they ferment, you produce what we know as landfill gases. Now, so the first step is that we should learn that waste should be separated. Once you've separated waste, then now we are left with the biological waste. And once you leave any waste management system with biological waste alone, then now you can tackle it with BSF. And that is why BSF is so critical there. Because once you introduce it, you know that there are only two things which will come out as outputs. One, you will get your BSF larvae, which can go as animal feed. Okay. Two, you will get your frass, which is soil. So imagine a situation where you are producing waste, bio-waste, and all the bio-waste actually goes back to nature. Okay? Now, once, if you can do that, you've cleared a very, very big problem. So that means you're only left with paper waste, plastic waste, and the other waste. Now, those ones, when they are dry and uncontaminated with biological matter, they are the easiest things to manage because they are very easily recyclable. So that is one of the most important reasons why, why we believe that BSF should play a very critical part. And we are seriously advocating as MFAL that this is something which should be used at different levels. And in fact, the earlier it is used, the better. No contamination. And in that situation, you will not need any landfill. So today we've talked quite a bit of, in detail on why we should promote black soldier fly. And I've also mentioned a little bit about why it's so appropriate in waste management and the entry point of black soldier fly into the overall management of waste and how it is so critical. Now, I think in the next videos, we will be looking at um, just how this food can be processed in such a way that it is best uh, for the flies and also best for the environment. So I think with uh, that, we should come for, to the end of our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe and uh, just touch that like button, share with friends, and um, there's a comment section there. Let's engage. Thank you. Be blessed.